Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general of reading for my friends Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a smaller Celtic cross for this one. Let's find out together what's coming through for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready to go, definitely. So, current situation, two of wands. The challenge, ten of swords. Crowning energy, two of pentacles. Core of the situation, page of pentacles. Past energies, seven of swords. Possible outcome, future, future energies, seven of wands. The focus... Six of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, the Hanged Man. Talk about an uncomfortable situation. In this case, for sure, and that's why it's even more important to pay attention in order to recognize something that can be crucial in order to make quite a decision. And the resistance that we uh, see in the um, possible outcome future energies um, kind of does not leave quite a lot of space for a second chance. In a connection that has seen, at the very least, um, a behavior that was not the ideal one in favor of the balance of the partnership because the focus is um, on the six of pentacles a fair and fair exchange for me so that we can avoid the one man up one man down uh, dynamic something that may have taken place in this scenario something that uh, that cannot be let go of we cannot uh, forgive and forget basically so guys current situation two of ones for me a soulful decision an energy that can be an influence for the following chapters of the journey because the man is holding the world in his hand so his life and is thinking bottom of the hanged man i will show you we have the ace of swords which i love because the ace of swords can uh, cut free the hanged man from the uncomfortable position so this man is thinking in a deep way about all the details linked to a situation so that he can make the best possible decision about what comes next the decision is related to the opportunity to close a chapter ten of swords in this case an ending and it can be a disappointing one because of the seven of swords energy and the six of pentacles going with the uh, lacking of balance lacking of time lacking of attention that can be found in a one man up one man down dynamic so for me with the ten of swords um, always stands the point that despite how difficult and harsh and disappointing this energy can be once everything has been said and done there is a new dawn on the horizon the sun will rise up again meaning that new opportunities will come in favor of those that were called to be brave and power through a scenario like this one opportunities will come even if a person doesn't see them at the moment but this is about clear communication so that some of you can break free from a situation that was only capable of bringing discomfort 
because crowning energy we see the two of pentacles and this is something that is ongoing for me we have the the loop the infinite symbol a cycle that is causing struggles the rough waters behind the man and this is an energy that uh, for me requires for uh, a lot of attention because a focused approach is the key to be able to break the cycle and not be stuck anymore that's why i love to see the ace of swords paired up with the young man enlightenment truth clarity this can be something that um, can play in favor of a clear communication from some of you guys towards some of your uh, partners i will not put label on the connection this is about the uh, chance to communicate with um, a partner um, kind of saying that the connection is over because the page of pentacles core of the situation can be an apology that didn't come according to the desires of some of you guys um, or for others view a uh, too little too late type of exchange coming from your partner something that was not uh, enough compared with the disappointing behaviors let's say that we can find in the seven of swords energy this is a diligent uh, energy for me because the page of pentacles is indeed the most diligent uh, between the four pages this can be also your approach kind of paying attention to the aspects that are important for the balance of a partnership fairness for example um heartfelt apology can go a long way but if uh, it doesn't even come uh, what are we talking about this can be the um, evaluation that some of you may have um, embraced about a connection that it seems um, it seems a connection where some of your partners for example may have been a little bit too self-centered a me mentality me 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 because the seven of swords with the six of pentacles can truly be something that is all in favor of a person and the other one gets the crumbles so basically guys the seven of swords in the past is the reason that has led some of you to embrace the crossroads two of ones uh, energy a major decision a soulful decision the seven of swords and i know that you are aware of the drill lies betrayals the seeds kind of pick your poison uh, let's say that for me this is an energy that is about behaviors or patterns and patterns can be considering the six of pentacles that are not aimed at the best possible outcome and because they are kind of uh, avoided by the person that is channeling them uh, they become problems and they can undermine the stability the foundations of a partnership this can be even a way of approaching the uh, conversations that can be uh, something that goes like um, it's not that important uh, why are you making it um, so much a big deal and so forth this can be a source of disappointments this way of interacting with each other and so if that's the case for some of you the clarity that you can find in a deeper introspection hanged man related despite the discomfort um, can pay off in your favor being in alignment achieving enlightenment clarity truth and when the moment comes to embrace the decision basically um, 
an ending can be the price to pay but some of you uh, possible outcome future energies seven of ones will not bow down because you have realized that an unfair behavior or multiple unfair behaviors were involved in the connection and this is the decision to uh, stand for yourself stand up for yourself just like this brave man is doing because he is protecting himself and what is important for him from external factors and the other person may uh, try to win you over again maybe with an apology that uh, is indeed uh, too little too late and you will say uh, thanks but no thanks I have realized that this type of connection where you are giving me just the crumbles basically is not the one that I was uh, wishing for and this can be about standing up for the values that a person believes in this is a brave stand uh, brave is a factor that is necessary when it comes to the ten of swords but it seems um, a decision that is based on uh, solid motivations because of the young man ace of swords combination of energies so guys let's pull some oracle cards for guidance considering these energies let's see what we can discover two cards here we go cause and effect well it's appropriate you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results the inner process can lead some of you towards the opportunity to embrace uh, new adventures leaving behind this type of scenario that was not fulfilling and on the other hand cause and effect can be about the actions taken by some of your persons that have led towards the effect that is about the closing of the connection empathy you feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love lacking of empathy here seven of swords uh, six of pentacles or um, an apology that is too little too late compared with the source of discomfort within the connection friendliness you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections this can be something that you are looking for when it comes to uh, love partnerships the chance to uh, trust each other but it seems a factor that uh, is lacking in a situation like this one and honestly I do not uh, feel that uh, those of you that will embrace the ten of swords uh, seven of wands combination of energies will remain friends with the with the other person freedom you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness the ten of swords can be the price to pay in order to uh, be free kinda pursuing the friendly interactions that can be uh, fulfilling ones the one that can allow even emotions and love to uh, be nurtured and to grow in a healthy way in a balanced way in a fair way satisfaction bottom of the deck something that was not involved in this situation but something that some of you may desire to achieve you have the right to do so and the clear communication is about that after all you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are a seven of swords uh, six of pentacles unbalanced way of uh, experiencing a partnership that can be a situation that uh, define a person even against their values and so no wonder that the ten of swords can be um, a pending energy in a scenario like that but if the reward is the freedom to pursue 
what can be in alignment with the virtues and the values of a person, it can be quite a, quite a brave decision. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.